All right. Welcome to Fun Day Monday, November 2023. The power of a website in the level that we're talking about is totally mind-boggling to me in this in this quiz question. It is. It is. The question was after Google, what is the most visited website? A Facebook, B YouTube, C Wikipedia, or D Amazon? The answer was B, YouTube. Yeah, and it sure seems like uh, most people were starting to get it when the answers were coming in first from the people who play our contests. I, I noticed some not everybody was getting it. You know, they were maybe guessing Facebook or, you know, things like that. But uh, but it's, it's definitely YouTube. Um, so, by the way, Facebook. Book is number three and Instagram, by the way, is number four, just in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> yeah, my my first guess was either Facebook or YouTube. Right. Um, so it that made it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube is an online video sharing and social media platform headquartered in San Bruno, California. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. And YouTube launched February 14th, 2005 by Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, and Jawad Karim. And it's interesting because, you know, 2005, it is quite a while ago now, but those guys, man, they they were geniuses um, for putting this together, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know? And then YouTube was bought by Google for $1.65 billion in October, 2006. And it, and it sure seems to me that Steve and Chad and Jawad that created YouTube, they're, that you know they're just set for life, you know, like on, the, on that sale. I mean, part of, I'm sure they pro probably like hated to give their invention away like that. But for that kind of a payment, uh, yeah, maybe that would be a good thing to give away. It probably was worth it. <laughs> I'm sure it was for them. The mission statement for YouTube is to give everyone a voice and show them the world. We all now have a voice and the world is a better place when we listen, share, and build community through our stories. I love that mission statement. I wish more people knew about that mission statement for YouTube because honestly, sometimes I wonder with some of the videos I watch on YouTube, but I'm sure glad that their mission statement is that because if we if they can make the world a better place because of YouTube, then why not, right? That's right. That's right. We need a better world. <laughs> yeah. So literally millions come to YouTube every day to be informed, to be inspired, or simply just to have fun. I know that I'm a part of that for sure. You know, like I'm on YouTube quite a bit, like a lot of us. And my favorite thing to do when I'm actually on YouTube, just kind of perusing around YouTube, or even if I'm uh, trying to put it to use and to learn something would be like, I can remember opening up the uh, the instruction manuals and try to read it and try to figure it out. And there was nothing visual for them, for people to show me like how to put something together or how to build something or how to do something. I can even remember a few years ago going to YouTube because I was called to be a director of a choir and I went to learn how to direct by seeing the the lady do the presentation on video and show me how to direct was just so invaluable to me. And that's what YouTube has brought to us, that visual and that audio, rather than just trying to learn on our own, it makes it tough. It makes it tough. It, it really does. And if you think about it, a lot of the things we buy, the, they don't have manuals much anymore. It yeah. used to be you'd get this great big thick book of, of instructions and, and a manual, and they're not there anymore. So the minimal instructions for putting things together or hooking things up 
it's sometimes easier to go onto YouTube and let someone show you. I think I think uh, things like even like Apple, when I buy an Apple product, I think they just expect us to go to YouTube to to learn about it. They don't even give, like you said, they don't even give you an instruction manual. Like you, if you buy an iPhone or if you buy, a, you know, an Apple Watch or something, like you go, if you need to learn it, you just go to YouTube. You don't even worry about an ins- instruction manual anymore. This is like our world now. It is. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> After the purchase of Google or by Google, YouTube expanded to mobile apps, network TV, and the ability to link with other platforms. Most of the content is generated by individuals. Yeah, that content is by <laughs> individuals. And I and it's true because a lot of p- times people they might have a laptop, not too many desktops anymore, but they might have a laptop, but most of the time people are walking around with their their smartphone and their hands and they're actually clicking on YouTube uh, apps or and, and Facebook apps and stuff like that. I mean, that's, they had to create the app, you know, I mean, they had to. <laughs> so, and here's the other thing, it, it, it's here to stay. Like YouTube is like, it's a part of our culture now. It, it's here to stay and it's evidence as in other corporations that want to be a part of YouTube and how they do that is they advertise or whatever they do on there. Like Disney's on there. Disney is part of it. Paramount, NBC universal and Warner brothers discovery to help advertise to greater audiences. So they're on there to actually advertise. And they, they, in some cases I'm thinking they'd rather advertise on YouTube than they even would TV, for example, because I think it's more powerful than TV at this point. I I wonder if more people are, you know, paying more attention to YouTube than they do their TV. Yes. Yeah. Like there, I don't know if the TV is ever going to go away, but no, because there's certain programs on TV you want to watch, but YouTube, I mean, even is linked into movies and all kinds of stuff now too. So like, it's, it's, it, it might even be just like, the invention is so powerful. It's like equal to when TV was invented. I mean, like that's how big YouTube is. It's, you, you know, I don't remember. I was I wasn't even born yet. But when TV came out, like I hear from my parents, like this, that was like the thing. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, and there is a YouTube TV channel for when you stream uh, on TV. So I mean. It's it's big. It's big. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and do this contest so that we can find out who our winner is for Fun Day Monday. All and right. As a reminder, the, the winner of Fun Day Monday can take the winnings themselves or they can donate to their to their favorite charity. So that's a choice that you have. So if your name is pulled today, you'll have to let me know which way you want. Who's the oh. name? The name is Paul Ursuler. Paul Ursuler. Okay. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I hope I did too. Congratulations, well, Paul, Paul. Yeah, Paul, like, w- let's get in touch and uh, we'll get you squared away um, with an Amazon gift card or we'll donate to your ver- favorite charity. So we'll we'll get that squared away. Well, it was a fun one today talking about YouTube and the power of YouTube, right? Right. <laughs> now, having said that, I want everybody to know that this video is going on YouTube. And uh, everybody watching this, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, like, literally is around the corner. It is. So close. It it's is. one of my favorite holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Just about being with family and eating and not worrying about buying gifts and stuff like that. It's just fun to to be with friends and family for sure. It, it is. It's fun to get together. All right. With that, we're going to go ahead and end. Please don't keep us a secret. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>